Okay, this was uh, my follow-up video on um, whether the big three are offering Windows 10 machines. The answer is they're still not, um, which is kind of important because when I did the video before, uh, Windows 10 was newly out and the manufacturers weren't even given an image to use until July 29th. So they weren't offering Windows 10 machines, okay? But now, you know, this is uh, nearly the end of uh, October. What is today? 26th. So the question remains, you know, well, okay, what about now? They surely they have the image by now, which they can install on their machines. And the answer is still no. Now, I'm not looking at the home machines, okay, because home is where your crappy hardware is. Never buy consumer-grade computers only by business grade computers okay they have a much higher resale value um, they last longer they they just are so much better in so many other ways okay I would rather buy a used business machine than a new consumer one so I went to work computers laptops okay and as a result of going there I'm on the same page as you'll see here now look these are work laptops, all right? Work laptops. Are they offering Windows 10? Answer, no. And they're laptops, which means that, you know, you're buying for your fleet. Okay, now look. There's your Leap Portfolio, Windows 8, or other operating system. Okay, what other? It's 8.1 or 7. Okay, and they have a horrible website too, so it's really hard to you know navigate these things. That's why it's really hard and horrible to shop at HP or at Dell or at Lenovo because the website design is so crappy. Okay, Windows 8 and other versions available. Footnote 6. Just fire the people who write these websites because they're all crappy. Wireless access, that doesn't tell you anything about what other versions, okay? Windows 8 Pro 64 and other versions available. Doesn't tell you which ones, okay? Doesn't tell you at all. Now, I happen to know that it's 8 and backwards, 8 and 7, but they don't write it well. See, it doesn't say Windows 10 and other. 8 is as high as it goes. Okay? The same thing is true. See, that's for your Elite Book folio, which they list first. So I guess that's the, you know, their cheapest model, or I guess it's this one. See, 8.1 Pro only, not prior. And it's only got a Celeron processor, so that's for people you really don't care about. All right? Elite Book folio. 8.1 and prior. 8.1 and prior. Doesn't say anything about a free upgrade to 10, but you know it's already eligible for, for free upgrade to 10 from Microsoft directly. Okay, 8.1 and prior. 8.1 and prior. 8.1 and prior. Okay? 8.1 and prior. 8.1 and prior. 8.1 and prior. Notice no tens. 8.1 and prior. In other words, if you put Windows 10 on your system, then you're going to, of course, invalidate the warranty, especially with HP. They're very sneaky about that. All right? Then they're not selling you 10. All right? They're not selling you. You want to get it on your own? That's your problem. Which means they don't figure 10 is selling. So you got Dell who's still not doing it either. Okay, so they don't expect 10 to sell. Obviously, HP doesn't either. Okay, we're talking business now. We're talking quality machines that are expected to last. If they thought Windows 10, which is, you know, going to be the latest expiring Windows, was good, they'd be putting Windows 10 on those machines. It's October. They can do that. They're not doing that. Windows 8.1 or prior. Why don't they say Windows 10 or prior? 
They can. They don't want to. Okay, now look at this one. This is a killer. This is the Pro Book 655. It's only coming with Windows 7. And it's using the downgrade rights of Windows 8 Pro to do it with an AMD dual core and quad core. AMD tends to matter for people who do graphics intensive computing. They prefer AMD to Intel. I'm not sure why. But I, you know, that's what I've, I've done a lot of reading. And people who do a lot of graphics intensive work say that AMD processors are much better for that stuff. Okay, I'll take their word for it. Apparently HP does too. Windows 7 64 bit with AMD. Okay, and that's a 15.6 inch diagonal. Let's view the details. And that matters because Windows 10 is being sold as, oh, it's DirectX 12. It's better for graphics. Really? So how come these guys aren't selling it here? Of course, AMD processors and Windows 10 don't get along too well. All right? So here you go. Energy Star, G1 Notebook, whatever the heck that means. Okay? View details. Horrible website. Just... Just fire the designers. I, it takes you forever to find out a very little bit of information. They should just give it to you like bing, 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 all on one page, which is what Dell used to do. HP has never been good at this. Their websites suck. Okay, but see, downgrade rights. They're selling Windows 7 through downgrade rights from Windows 8. They didn't buy Windows 10 licenses, or they haven't used up. The Windows 8 licenses they did buy. I'm not sure which it is. Okay? But you can bet once they've used up their Windows 8 licenses, Windows 10 has the same provision, downgrade rights. Okay, fine. When they're stuck, when they've used up their Windows 8 licenses, whatever Windows 10 licenses they bought, they can still sell Windows 7 with downgrade rights from Windows 10. And they can keep right on selling this machine that way. They must really believe, because it's pre-configured, that this is what's going to be what businesses want to buy. That's a pretty good price for the kind of thing that it is. It's not my cup of tea, but some people like it. They like it thinner, and they like it tougher, and they like HP. I don't like HP. I have one HP machine. I don't care for it. I'm a Dell person. But if you're an HP person, well, see, now you know. Downgrade rights through Windows 8. So when they run out of Windows 8 licenses, they can keep on selling this with Windows 7 pre-installed through downgrade rights from Windows 10. OK? Now, do I need to go through all the rest of them to show you this idea? I don't think so. Because they're all Windows 8 or prior. And that particular one happened to already be configured at Windows 7. Because there, there, there's another one at Windows 7. Here's another one at Windows 7. Okay? Here's one at Windows 7. Then we go back to 8.1 or prior. 8.1 or prior. See, they're making marketing decisions about what version goes on what hardware that people are going to want to buy. And you'll notice that their marketing decision is not Windows 10. Windows 8 or prior. 8 or prior. Here it's 7. I mean, it'll offer another version on this machine. On this one, it won't. The Omen Pro. They're only offering Windows 7. And you'll notice this one is twice as expensive. How come? See, this is how you tell how Windows 10 is really doing. What are the manufacturers selling? If Windows 10 were as good as claimed, then why aren't the manufacturers selling it? If they're not selling it, people won't be buying it. And they're not going to be selling what they don't think people will buy. They think people will prefer Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. And this one is even Windows Embedded 7. 
that's like used for ATMs. Okay, it's a thin client, which is like, you know, just a terminal. See, this one is Windows 8.1 only. Okay? This one is Windows 8.1 only, not Windows 10. Now, you can put Windows 10 on it, but that's your problem. Business doesn't do that kind of thing. Business likes to have all of its stuff with the same image the same way. And so what's very telling about this is that business is saying hi for our business laptops. Give us Windows 8.1 or prior. And, of course, it can be pre-configured with Windows 7 on it instead. See, it doesn't have to be Windows 8.1. And this horrible design for the web page. See, Windows 8 or other versions. It doesn't tell you what other versions, but if you're a business, you call up and say, Hi, I want Windows 7 on this machine. Okay, fine. How many do you want? That's how the manufacturers are operating. They're not selling Windows 10, nor do they expect Windows 10 to be in, in anybody interested in it. Now, let's go look at the home laptops just so that you get some sense of the home because I hadn't done the HP videos before this is the first time I was able to get the website to work while recording okay so here's the HP Pavilion Gaming you'll notice that they don't give you any information that's because you're a consumer you're too dumb to live we're not going to tell you anything you're just going to be interested in price okay so let's look at the HP Stream which is an 11 inch laptop, their cheapest. Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1. Not Windows 10. Why, why bother selling Windows 10? You can go get it from Microsoft and screw up your machine your way on your time and screw up the warranty in, its, in the meantime. But for $180, you can get this already pre configured with Windows 8.1. That's a home machine. So they're not even selling Windows 10 on their cheapest home machines. Okay, well, let's look at the Pavilion 15, a gaming laptop. Ah, now you can get Windows 10. There you go. Yeah, because it's a gaming laptop, and that's supposed to be one of the big selling points of Windows 10 is DirectX 12, which in my machine isn't even working yet. I have Windows 10 only I have Pro. I have Windows 10 Pro 64 bit and DirectX 12 doesn't work yet. I may be willing a later update, but it's not working now. Okay, it's still DirectX 10. But, you know, hey, maybe they figured it out and they got it to work. Let's try the Pavilion 17 at $500. Oh, here's Windows 10 why you'd want a pavilion, an HP pavilion, I don't know. But hey, it's a touch laptop, it's Windows 10, it's got AMD quad core. So there you go. Notice that it's only $500. Now ask yourself a question. A $2,000 laptop. See, we were up here, remember, for work, computers, laptops. And we went all the way down here and boy, oh boy, oh boy, this one, $2,000, but it's got Windows 7 Professional, not Windows 10. It's $2,000. Or you can pay $500 if it'll take me back that far, which it won't. You can pay $500 and get this and get Windows 10 Home on it. There you go. What does that tell you? This has got AMD quad core. So what does that tell you? And you can get different colors, including red, my favorite. What does that tell you about the opinion about the quality and value of Windows 10? That it's less. That Windows 7 is better. And then here's the popular HP Envy. Why it's popular, I don't know. 
because most of the problems I've heard of occur on HP and these maybe I'm wrong but that's not even selling Windows 10 you want Windows 10 you'll have to put it on yourself and honey when you want to update an HP to Windows 10 or any any HP that you update the Windows on you usually have trouble with drivers that's one, one other reason I don't buy HP's with Dell there's no proprietary driver I need to have so updating Windows on Dell is not an issue I'm not saying HP is a bad company. I'm saying that, that there are problems when it comes to Windows with their stuff. Okay, so that's the thing to understand is, you know, you're comparing home laptops, okay, Windows 10, Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 8. This one is more expensive than this one. This one is cheaper, but it's not Windows 10. Okay, that's kind of surprising, isn't it? And that's all they offer. Okay, now let's click on here, Windows 10 laptops. And here you go, there's the Spectre. Okay. Then you got an Omen. That's really funny because the Omen isn't, and for work machine, is not offered, is not offering Windows 10. It's offering Windows 7 alone. And then you got Windows 10 Envy. So you can get them. Again, that's bad website design. You can get them. And then you got these two. There's a Windows 10 Pavilion, 284. Okay. But of course, you know, the details you have to click yet again. Once they want to sell you, have the details already. Okay, but that's not, you know, being sold to business. So that tells you where they think the market is. Where they think the market is. Okay, signing off.